travel the world looking for fun and new adventures. I'm Carrie. I'm Dave. Oh, we made it. Welcome to American Travelers. Dave grew up as a professional drummer before he went into the video production world as a sound mixer. Carrie followed her mother's footsteps as a nurse. She loves distance running and even finished two 100 mile races. Our purpose is to show awesome destinations and share our new adventures. We've got a bunch of great stops to show you. We'll give some tips on how to budget your trip. Along with some history and culture of each destination. So come join us on American Travelers. So Ellen, tell me a little bit what event we're at today. This is the Concorde de Limones, which is the celebration of the truly awful, oddball, and mundane cars of the world. Really? Like, why would people want to see that? Well, we're here at the Monterey Auto Week, where, which has the Pebble Beach Concord, which is widely regarded as the world's best car show. So if there's a best car show, there has to be a worst car oh, show. So you're and right that's in, what we want right to be. There, yeah. right? to do is we are going to hand out these awards the cars are going to come through here hopefully they come through here and just keep going just right on out okay so our first award bring it on up sir it is Steve Mandel and his 1973 KV Mini 1 from Claremont, California. It has a proprietary two-stroke engine in the back, and the wheels are driven by stone discs. They're grinding discs that friction drive the rear wheels. You win the Haggerty uh, Corporate Award, slightly better than a go-kart. Big round of applause. All right, thank you very much for coming. Please leave right away. <laughs> Look at wow. the look on this guy's face. Pure psycho. Yeah. <laughs> so what is your name, sir? Uh, Carl. What? All right, that's enough. That's enough. Carl. Yeah. No, we're good. That's all we need to know. And what, what, what is this? This is the dear leader, the Kim Jong Elantra. Kim Jong Elantra. It there is, you go. It's a 2005 Hyundai Elantra. And why? <laughs> you win the uh, Korean Kimchi Award, and you win the uh, Communist Car Award because you've done it up with a plaque that in Russian says, nice car, comrade. There you go. So are you friends with Dennis Rodman? <laughs> and you win, you win our Soviet prize pack, which consists of boiled potatoes and vodka. There you go. <laughs> This uh, is a very unique award. Okay, it's a, it's a working vehicle. Yes, it is. So as such, you don't necessarily clean it too often. <laughs> oh, never. All right, we're in a drop situation, so I'm careful. <laughs> You're careful, but you you actually have some uh, some passengers along with you, don't you? Um, yeah, Mr. Ratatouille there um, came under the seat about 30 years ago, and I, I couldn't put him outside. So this, the, on the dash is a desiccated rat carcass that uh, found its way into the into the vehicle and couldn't find its way out. This car, this vehicle smokes uh, like like a chimney. It's uh, the dirtiest thing out on the field. So for that, it is given our ecological disaster award. This is our uh, their self-satisfied Krautenwagen award. They're not that powerful. I don't know if you can get over that. There we go. What is what is your name, sir? Chris Jansons. And I don't see Chris Jansons. I don't know if you won an award. <laughs> we are unnamed. Did nice somebody, did somebody, nice try, though. That's did, the first did, time we've had that. And what do you have for us here? People-powered vehicle made in Michigan in 1975. Wow. Weed was really bad back then, wasn't it? <laughs> the good weed didn't make it to Michigan, and this is uh, an example of, of that. The, uh, anyway, this one came up in an auction two years, uh, during COVID, and uh, I, I got it. I didn't have it. COVID decisions are some of the best decisions I've heard. <laughs> yes. And here I am. For, for how much? How much was it? They made a mistake. And they, they, this was a buy it now, $8. $8? <laughs> I think you overpaid. Do you get some of uh, uh, apple pie and hot dogs uh, and Vienna sausages for the American prize pack. There you go. And what is your name, sir? Matthew Spielberg and Maddie. And Maddie, and what did you bring for us today? It's a 1967 Toyota Sports 800. 
It's only running on two today. How many does it have? Two. Oh, there you go. Okay. So this is. Hey, this we is, make the jokes. <laughs> So this is fairly unique uh, 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 configuration. Most of these were right hand drive. They made a total of 33. They made a total of 3,300. They made 300 of them in left hand drive for Okinawa, which was jet, was American occupied, and they drove on the wrong side of the road. Wow. So this is uh, not only a rare car, but a rare version of that car. And you brought it down for us today. So this is the weirdest version of a weird car. Yeah, exactly. Which is exactly what we like to see here at the Concorde de Limon. So you win our soul-sucking Japanese appliance plaque. And you win our, our Japanese prize pack of stuff I could find at the dollar store, which consists of some soy sauce, some spicy uh, ramen noodles. This is starting to sound a little racist, by the way. And some roast seaweed snack. Kids come a-running for the healthy goodness of roast seaweed. Now, I heard you tell the same jokes every year. What's the deal with that? You know, it's it's long enough time. It's a great for a comedian. I only have to tell jokes once a year. People forget. I would use the same ones every year, and everybody laughs. And I tell them. I use the same jokes every year, though. <laughs> I'm like, no, really. My name is Tommy O'Brien. And what did you bring for us today? I brought a 70 Healy Sprite that I supercharged. <laughs> Why? <laughs> with a factory kit? Uh, no factory kit, just uh, off the, like, oddball parts and whatever I could scrounge around for. S stuff you found off the dishwasher? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay, did you, so... Did you buy anything off eBay Motors? Uh, I bought the supercharger from there, but everything else is basically from Home Depot. So bought something from eBay Motors. Big round of applause. Hey, there you and, go. He's, and he stole the rest of the stuff. Yes, okay. Exactly. So for that, he wins our Royal Order of MOT Failure plaque. <laughs> There you go. And you win our English prize pack, which consists of some tea, shocker, some mushy peas, and some brown sauce. Big round of applause. Thanks for coming. Oh my god, I don't know if I can deal with this next one. I got it. You can't even see out of the windshield. Dude, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> so what is your car here, and uh, what have you done with it? It's a 2005 Mini Cooper. It's been in three wrecks. Shocker. Shocker. And what, what did you decide to do from it from that point? I put a means people suck sticker on the back, and that's how I started. <laughs> I guess that might include us. We've been kind of mean to people. Yeah. Make sure you don't get too close yep. to contact time. Oh, yeah, yeah. Wicked. Yeah. Aloha, Aloha sir. This Big round of applause. This show is so classy. Ah, this is Oh, jeez. Don't do that. No, 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 don't, don't, don't do that. Don't do that. So sometimes, worst of show is really hard to pick. Other times, oh, and sometimes the car stalls. Uh, sometimes it's not so much. There's a clear hands down winner as soon as it drives on the field. Save your silly string for later, folks. Uh, <laughs> Until we can see if it makes it over the top here. Yeah. You know, the shock is literally hanging off the front. Uh, we're going to blow a motor. Would, would somebody help yeah. push this guy? Sure, the suspension is thoroughly tested. Okay, what is, what is your name, sir? Daniel Shanahan. Daniel Shanahan. And what in the hell is this? This is sauerkraut. All right. Volkswagen dealer in Modesto, California, built it 1959 and 60, and wrote it as a parade to promote Volkswagen. Um, yeah, sure. That, that's the first thing I think of when I see this. Is I should buy a Volkswagen. <laughs> You win our Concord de Limones, California 2021 Worst of Show. Please approach with your silly string and... And don't hit us.
thank you so much for coming. Big round of applause for all of our participants and for our winner. And big round of applause for you. We hope to see you out here again next year. We are just dumb enough to do it again, and we hope you are dumb enough to show up. Thank you so very much. Be sure to stop by the fine folks at Rio's Garage at Haggerty and Classic Motorsports Magazine. And uh, also, sir, you will win a $700 uh, gift card from the eBay Motors. Thank you so much for bringing this absolute uh, disaster of a vehicle. How long have you been doing this? We've been doing this for 12 years. Um, we have spread all across the country and actually internationally, too. We have a show in Australia, and uh, we have seven shows here in the United States. Okay. You want to invite our audience, American Travelers TV? Come on out if you want to see some really terrible cars and have a great time at a really good car show for bad cars. Concord de Limones is the one for you. Well, my wife Carrie's first car was a red Pinto with a white vinyl top. She had to drain water from the driver's side floor when it rained. Knowing how to pick real winners, here's her next car. You guessed it, a Pacer. Hey, wait a second. I don't think this one qualifies for a lemon. Now for me, this is more my cup of tea. I can see a few band members touring in this. Ah, the French. Such a cool car. I had one of these, and they're fun to drive. British cars are great, except for the electrical systems. Not all cars here are lemons. Take a look at these. Thanks for watching American Travelers.